it's beautiful out. And guess what? It's friggin' dunk day, boys. I just gotta walk the door to the door. Stop, never stop, always on attack. Locked in the path, never give it up. Whatever I lack. Where that came from, and my price is right. I never change, bro. I don't get it done, get it done right. And that's every day, that's dunk life. Yo, first things first, all the energy you could ever want to start your day with is on the Dunk Life Daily Podcast. Let's go! Just go check that out, I'm telling you. Daily on YouTube, daily podcast, first thing in the morning. Get your fucking mind right. All right, so today, back to the dunk journey, working on my hops. I'm in the peak phase. I'm in that elastic phase, but I'm trying to get healthy. Still recovering from dunk camp. Went so crazy hard that I really strained my hamstring tendon. So I've been doing isometrics. It's been helping very little. So I actually pushed it a couple days ago with RDLs, which is like, um, So today, see what I can do jump-wise. I can jump, especially off vert, off a, off a small, well, I can jump off vert and I can jump off a small step, but I can't do that full approach because when I extend my penultimate, that's where it really hurts my hamstring. So I still wanna get some jumps and I wanna get my body in shape. I wanna keep jumping for that explosive training because it keeps me cut up. Definitely feeling the leanest I've ever been. Jumping's a huge part of that, so my plan is just keep jumping and get healthy so I can peak. And the second I peak, jump my highest ever. And then I'm gonna go back right back to strength training so I can jump higher than ever in a few months. But let's go. Thanks for tuning in, man. Tuned up, baby, let's go. Oof, yo, it is simply stupid beautiful out right now. Oh, baby. Yo, I've been to two LA fitnesses already. Both courts were under maintenance and slippery as shit. They had half the court open, sucked. So I'm here at 24 hour fitness, let's go. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sick of driving, let's just dunk. Yo, the gym's actually beautiful. I haven't come because it's been 10 feet, and I've always been working on my technique, but I actually have really good dunk sessions here. I think it's the court, it's just beautiful. Oh. Show me something. What's going on on YouTube? What's going on YouTube? Show me something. Oh! Still hurts, but off a drop set, like I said, I'm not using that full penultimate, so that's that little range of motion doesn't hurt, but the long one does. Yo, so the front is exactly 9, 11 and a half, and the back is like just quarter of an inch over 10 feet so since it's bent it's a little easy but every half inch matters so even though it's like only a half an inch that bent makes a big difference makes it easy to finish dunks but still it's up there it's a stiff rim I love it, it feels good that one's probably more legit but this one's a lot of fun oh. hey dribble dunks are my worst so to be doing that during warm-ups feels amazing Woo! Keeping it gradual. Even though it looks like I'm warm, I gotta jump one step at a time, 5% of the time. I can't go from 40% jumps to 100. I felt some spring.
Yo, I'm in heaven right now. I'm in pain, but I'm in heaven. Yo, there's a time when you avoid pain and there's a time you push through it a little bit. And that comes with the awareness. Shout out to Dunk Life Daily. The first, the most important DLD principle that I think is the foundation of every single thing I do, Dunk Life, both sides of it, is the awareness. That's what it's about, getting in tune with your body, learning when to do that, to tell your body, yo, I'm gonna be doing this to stimulate that recovery. I feel rusty, everything's off kilter. That one hurt a little more. The definition of a yam. When you dunk it so hard and clean, hits the back of the rim and shoots down. Preferably hits the ground before you do. I just want a yam one today. Highest windmill since friggin' November 2017. I cut it here. I gotta catch that B up here. Never satisfied. Yeah. Ah! Ah! I'll take it, bro. It didn't hit the floor before me, but I'll take it. High check time, you already know. Yeah, one of my best jumps, best high checks in a really long time. I'm gonna try to get my head to the backboard. Ooh, got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's go! I got my head. That's the highest. Whew, that's like matching the highest I've ever jumped. Man, that feels good. Stay on your effing grind. Try. Where are we at? The finish felt good, but a little awkward. Didn't feel perfectly straight on. Definitely not as smooth as my off the lob windmill. Never satisfied. Oh. Whew, so this is actually better than decent for once. Yeah. Made a lot of progress already. Jumped aggressive. Still have a lot to go because I'm really way worse off the dribble, especially off two hands. So I got a lot more to go. My goal is to be really crazy in game dunks. Other than that, I'm only gonna get healthier. I'm learning about my body. Stay patient. It's worth it if it's your passion and your dream and it's something that you'd love to do, bro. It's worth the wait. Go backwards if you have to. Stay after it. Let's go. Ended up making an anthem. Oh!